Well, without further ado, let me introduce today's speaker. Dr. John Van Sant is Associate Professor and Graduate Program Director here uh, in our Department of History at University of Alabama in Birmingham, where he has been since 2000. His doctorate degree in history is from the University of Oregon, while his undergraduate and master's degrees are from the University of California at Davis. He has won several awards, including the Fulbright Award for Japan, and here at UAB, he won the 2003 Frederick W. Connor Prize in the History of Ideas for his paper on Sakuma Shozan, uh, Philosophy of Eastern Ethics and Western Science. His general area of research and teaching is East Asian history, while his primary area is on Japanese history during the Tokugawa and Meiji era. Meiji. Meiji era. I need the expert to keep this straight. His recent research focuses on what is known in Asia as troubles from within and without, and how these events and influences affected Japan during the last decade decades of the Tokugawa era. Dr. Van Sant is also uh, active in the World History Association and in the Advanced Placement Program for World History. So I think we're in for a treat by a real subject expert who is going to tell us about Rangath who meant uh, medicine as outside knowledge in late Tokugawa, Japan. Uh, welcome, Dr. Van Sant. Thank you, Mike, for that introduction. Uh, let me, I'm supposed to, can everybody hear me better? Right. But just to give you a warning, we tested the sound system earlier today and it sometimes did some weird things. So uh, <laughs> if, if I sound too loud and obnoxious, please let me know. <laughs> um, uh, Rangaku. Uh, emerged in Japan uh, in the uh, 17th century uh, as, as a result of restrictions uh, that are known as sakoku or closed country uh, policies uh, of the early Tokugawa shogunate uh, that placed uh, on Japanese interactions with Westerners. And now the Tokugawa era uh, begins in 1600. And employees of the Dutch East India Company uh, were the only Westerners allowed in Japan from 1639 to the uh, 1850s. Um, now, although generally known as Rangaku or Dutch studies, uh, because the medium of trans that is because the medium of transmission uh, was usually through employees of the Dutch East India Company, uh, and they were based at uh, the small Deshima Island in Nagasaki, and also through Dutch language books. Uh, the information and knowledge transmitted was actually European in origin, and therefore is sometimes more accurately called Yogaku, or Western studies. Uh, I use the term Rangaku because that was the most prevalent term at the time, and still really the most prevalent term, uh, just to be aware that the content is not necessarily all of Dutch origin. The, the major spread of Western medical ideas within the realm of scientific knowledge in Japan during the Tokugawa era uh, began with the publication of Kaitai Shinsho, or New Anatomy Book, in 1774. Now, I will get to that in a moment. But not only would the publication of Kaitai Shinsho greatly assist Japanese physicians uh, in correctly diagnosing and treating their patients, uh, even for physicians who relied primarily on Chinese uh, medical knowledge, it would lead to other advances, uh, um, especially the acceptance of Janarian cowpox vaccination. And furthermore, at a time of national crisis uh, caused by the internal disputes between the imperial house and the Tokugawa shogunate, uh, and exacerbated by, uh, by uh, foreign external powers demanding trade and diplomatic relations, this medical knowledge uh, played a little known but significant role, I would argue, in establishing the Meiji government. In, uh, let, me, let me back up a bit. This is the uh, Dutch enclave in Nagasaki, Deshima Island. Uh, this is uh, Nagasaki mainland right there. And then you see the island there. Deshima Island is sort of a fan-shaped uh, island. Uh, it's kind of a, a stretched out, maybe a little bit bigger than a football field. 
uh, and these is what this is where the Dutch traders uh, uh, had to live on this island, and they could not even, almost never, could they even cross the bridge uh, into Nagasaki itself uh, while they were while they were based there. Uh, there were guards all over the place, uh, and uh, so this is what the island looks like, this sort of fan shape. And by the way, it was actually a uh, artificial island that was built uh, in the early 17th century. Uh, why the, by the Tokugawa government, you know, with, you know, dumping landfill and all of that uh, uh, there. So they were, uh, I don't know who's the earliest at building artificial islands, but uh, it is, it is an, actually an artificial island. Now, it's not there anymore. If you go to Nagasaki today and you ask for where's Deshima Island, there are streets. <laughs> it's been filled in all, all around it, but it is still there. Uh, uh, and this is the Dutch trade network uh, during, uh, during this period of time. And the, the East Asian uh, basis, base, main base for the Dutch is here in Batavia, uh, Indonesia. Uh, and it is from Batavia that uh, a couple of times a year, uh, the Japanese government uh, would allow ships to come up to uh, Nagasaki. Uh, to but in 1721, uh, Tokugawa Yoshimune, who was the eighth Tokugawa shogun, uh, he rescinded long-standing restrictions on foreign books that could be imported by the Dutch trade ships at Nagasaki. Now, he was especially interested in information about Western horsemanship, botanical sciences, astronomy, weapons, and medical techniques. Uh, more Japanese scholars were sent by the shogun to study with the Dutch at their compound in Nagasaki, and, and during their required annual visits uh, of the Dutch Oberhoeft uh, and his entourage to Edo, uh, more Japanese scholars would also meet with the Dutch during their stay in the Shogun's capital. Uh, Edo uh, was the capital's name. In 1868, the name was changed to Tokyo. A, Euro a European doctor of medicine uh, was employed by the Dutch East India Company and was <coughs> always included in these journeys to Edo. Uh, all the Japanese who met with the Dutch, either in Nagasaki or Edo, uh, needed to receive special permission uh, from the Tokugawa government. And since hardly any member of the Dutch East India Company, with one or two rare exceptions, uh, uh, learned more than a smattering of uh, Japanese vocab vocabulary and salutations, the medium for communication uh, uh, was in Dutch and was extremely cumbersome, as you can imagine, especially for scientific concepts and medical procedures. Uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, interest in Dutch science uh, in Western science, especially medical knowledge, uh, increased uh, among Japanese physicians who sought to uh, compare and add uh, Western medical knowledge and techniques uh, to their existing uh, Chinese uh, base of medicine.